Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how this Lightroom preset store makes $20,000 every single month by selling Lightroom and Photoshop presets, okay? And I'm gonna be diving in and I'm gonna be picking apart everything to hopefully give you an idea about how you can start your Lightroom preset store or your store in the photography niche, whatever you're selling, and kind of just work out where you can get your traffic from, how to make sure your product sells, and all those different kind of things, and giving you, hopefully, a little bit of inspiration and helping a few of you actually start your online business as a photographer or within the creative space. Okay, so let's just dive straight in, shall we? So this is the website that we're gonna be analyzing today. This is theluxlens.com. You guys might have heard of them, I'm not sure. But essentially, most of their traffic they get from Google. Um, and we'll be diving into about where they get the traffic from and how you guys can kind of use that to your advantage and work out how you can get your traffic in a similar way. So here we go, guys. Um, I've just refreshed the page and they've put the price up. So when I when I did all my evaluations, this was $13, but now it's $14, reduced from $129. So first things first, the sale that is going to get them a load of um, the load of sales there, the the big discount, the 89% reduction from this. Um, so this is it. You can see the different kind of products they get. Um, so that's a kind of a sales point. You've got to put good before and after so people can see what the product actually does. Um, it's a very simple preset pack. It doesn't do too much like intense editing to the photos, um, very, very subtle. So they get 100 presets with 15 local adjustment brushes, which is cool because that's a real big selling point. Um, the more they get for $14, the better the product's gonna sell. Okay, so that's another important thing. When you're doing this in your description, make sure you really hammer into what they're getting, what is the product, how can it advantage them, how can it benefit them? That's what they've done here. Next up, they've got a nice video which kind of just describes how they made the presets and like how to use the presets. Um, kind of, you know, I don't know, helps, I guess. What else? They've got more before and afters. Um, what is it compatible with? Works with raw and JPEG images, instant download. Kind of a little bit more description. This probably doesn't um, sell it too much. I reckon a lot of people just kind of look at the pictures and skip past that. This is important. Um, it describes how many presets they get in each preset bundle. So they've got the 100 presets bundle, and they split up into three. They've got the general, they've got the outdoor, and then they've got the studio presets. Um, so that just helps people use the presets that would work better with their photos, which is kind of a nice way of just kind of putting things together. Because presets don't always work um, with every single one of your photos. So saying, oh, these presets work better if you've taken an outdoor photo is always nice. And then what they've done is they've just kind of described what each preset pack does. So you've got cold breeze, gives you cold tones, slightly faded darks, intense blues, light cyan highlights different things like that. Silky pastel colors just to like help people understand what the presets are because 100 presets, it's a lot to show the 100 presets in action within photos, so sometimes it's nice just to kind of run through what they're getting. Um, so I reckon that helps a little bit. And then a little more description, and then they've also got some customer reviews, which um, should help apart from this one, who um, gave a two star. But anyway, that's roughly the, the product and how they get it to sell fairly well. Now, for a store like this, guys, you can expect between a 2 to 4% conversion rate. So a conversion rate is the proportion of people that buy to the proportion of people that visit the store. So we're going to analyze this um, in just a few seconds' time. But essentially, that means that if you get 100 people buying for a 2% conversion, no, sorry, if you get 100 people visiting the store, for a 2% conversion rate, you can expect to make two sales. At $13, well, it's $14 now, but it was $13, um, you're making $26 per 100 visits, or you can make um, double that if you get 4% conversion rate, and then obviously so on and so forth. So obviously this store wants to get the highest conversion rate it can, but that's kind of a conversion rate you guys can expect if you start your store. Between 2 to 4% is a good uh, ballpark figure. I think the industry standard is around one point is around 1.3, but you can definitely get it higher than that. That's, that's really quite low, 1.3%. But anyway, so this is their store. We're going to be generous and give them 2 to 4% conversion rate. So how do I know how much they're making and how do I know where they're getting the traffic from and how you guys can go ahead and do the same thing. So first things first guys, you want to go ahead and install this plugin here. It's a similar web plugin um, or a Chrome extension, really useful um, just to kind of, you know, analyze stuff. So essentially what it does is it gives you all the stats, well not all the stats, but a good stats that you can get. Um, so for example, how much traffic they're getting, where they're getting their traffic from, how much of that is organic, how much of that is paid traffic. We'll be diving into that in just a minute. So essentially, the downside is um, for the free version, at least, I don't know for the paid version, but for the free version, it only gives you the like the global traffic, which means for like the entire website, how much traffic the entire website gets. So this entire website gets around 52,600 link clicks to the entire store. Now I've just gone through and I've looked at most of their products and a lot of their products are in this range of around $14, uh, $13. So for the sake of argument, um, we're gonna be using uh, $13 as our ballpark kind of figure to see how much they're gonna make this month. Okay, so here we go. 
What you can do is you can kind of dive in a little bit more and you can get a little bit more information about it. So let's go lucklenshere.com. So you can see uh, the global rank, country rank, this kind of stuff is a bit immaterial, doesn't really matter too much. But here we go, traffic overview. 52,600 visitors, guys. So here we go. 52,600 visitors at a $13 product with a 2% to 4% conversion rate. Boom, you think you can calculate how much they're making from that, but guys, I want to split it down. I want to make it a little bit more apparent about how much they're actually making because there's always things like um, cost of goods if they're actually selling a like, physical product, which these guys aren't, which is awesome. Um, but then you've also got things like cost of ad spend and stuff because they are actually running ads to this store. So, so minimum, if we take a 2% conversion rate, they're going to be making a minimum of $13,676 um, at $13, about 1,000 sales um, every single month if they get this many views at 2% conversion rate. Okay, But not all of that's profit, guys. Not all of it's profit. And we'll dive into that in just a minute. Maximum, if they take a 4% conversion rate, it's, about, it's double that. Okay, So it's $27,352. They're going to make double the amount of sales, double the amount of money. But again, with that, they're making... Um, then not all of that will be profit because a lot of that is ad spend as well. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Okay, so really quick interlude before we go any further, guys. If you want to start your own online store just like these people and you want to start selling your own stuff, but you're not sure how to actually go ahead and do it, you know, you don't know how to make your product, you don't know how to market it, um, and you don't know how to build a website and all these different things, Guys, there's a free training that I teach you how to go ahead and do this. So go ahead, click free. There's a free training link down below in the description. It's 100% free. It's about an hour and a half long um, where I just sit down and I kind of take you through all this stuff. Um, and I think I reveal the three secrets about making money in the creative industry and why it's so possible. And I kind of give you some examples of other people doing it as well. So that's down there if you want it. Um, it might help some of you start your business. I'm just putting it together. I sat down for an hour and a half filming it, so hopefully it's useful to some people. But it's there if you want it, 100% free. It's about an hour and a half long. But yeah. Let's just get back to the video. So this is a cool thing about SimilarWeb. It can tell you where they're getting their traffic from. So for example, here we can see they're getting about 35, about 37% of the traffic comes from the US, which is usually good, like US, UK, Canada, Germany. These countries convert really well. Um, so that's kind of good that they're getting all their traffic from there. Um, what else can we see? Okay, so this is cool. This breaks down where they're getting their traffic from. So direct traffic referral, search, social, mail, display. So direct traffic, for example, is like if someone has the link and they just click and they just come direct to the store. Uh, mail comes from like emails, you know, referrals. So usually for some websites, you can see that referrals is quite high on the sales, but for this one, it's quite small. Um, and that's because referrals is like if another blog puts the link to their website in their blog post, and then people click from that link and buy from that link. But 3% of about 52,000, I think is about 1,500 link clicks. So that's not many. So we're just gonna kind of focus in on um, search traffic, because you can see 65% of their traffic comes from search, then a tiny bit from social, which we'll talk about in just a bit. So 65% comes from search. So how does that break down into product costs or ad spend and stuff? Well, guess what, guys? You can scroll down and it will show you here. So 65% comes from search. 51.6% of that, so 51% roughly comes from organic traffic, which means that they don't pay a single cent to get this traffic onto their store. So if anyone who buys from the organic traffic, just by typing in light and airy presets or preset farm Lightroom or lens flare or light and presets or flowers overlay photo, right? These are the top keywords that are getting people onto their store. Um, so if people buy after like typing this in and they come to their store and they buy, all of that is profit because they haven't paid to get these people onto their store and they haven't got any cost of goods. I haven't got any product cost because it's a digital download. So that's really good getting a 51% organic traffic coming through because they make profit 100% from that. Is we can see that they're also paying for traffic. Now I just did a quick search. When I found these guys, I typed in Lightroom presets. Um, sure enough, I got an ad for Lux presets or luxlens.com, whatever it is. Um, and that is what they're paying for. So they're, they're bidding on different keywords like Lightroom presets, um, whatever this one is, Lightroom presets for free. They're bidding on that one. Bit of a weird one to bid on because people are expecting something for free, but they are bidding on that one. Lightroom preset, Lightroom Proset presets, Lightroom presets. These are the top words that they're um, bidding on. So Lightroom presets, 6.6% of, of their paid traffic is coming from this one keyword they're bidding from. So this means what they'll do here is they'll pay per conversion. So roughly, um, if someone comes on after typing in Lightroom Presets and they click on their ad, then they buy, they obviously have a cost to get that person onto their store, which is around 48% of their traffic. So 
So let's just split this down, shall we? So 51% comes from organic, which means that we can take 51% of these sales and we can say straight off the bat, they're 100% profit. So 50% of our sales um, means that we're going to be getting a minimum, minimum of 536 sales to a maximum of 1,073 sales, which means they're making between like conservatively between 2% and 4% um, conversion rates. 4% is quite high, I don't think they're making this much, but who knows, um, they're making $6,968 to $13,949 just from organic. All that's profit, which is awesome, 100% um, profit, but they're also getting 48% of that traffic is going to be, um, well, 49% roughly is gonna be paid traffic. So what we can do from that is we can just subtract it, and we can work out, okay, so minimum, they're going to be getting 516 sales. Now to work out how much they pay for, um, usually um, what we're going to do is we're going to be conservative and we're going to give them a two times ROAS. So two times ROAS is a um, return on ad spend. So if they spend like $1, they make back $2, right? You make back twice what you spend. So for example, we're going to say they spend $7 to get one sale. It's pretty conservative. It's pretty average. Most advertising sources, you're going to be um, getting a 2%. Uh, two times ROAS, um, if you're doing okay. I mean, you can do a lot better than that, so they may be getting a five times ROAS, I'm not sure. But um, let's just say they're getting a two times ROAS, uh, just to like lower down our figures a little bit, because we don't want to shoot for the stars and say they're making a hundred times ROAS, they spend a penny or something, they make $13, and we don't want to be doing that. So this means that we can kind of calculate roughly how much of these um, sales here, how much profit they're making from them. So roughly doing the stats here, $7 per sale, so they've got 516 sales, they're roughly paying around $3.6,000 every month to get 516 sales. Now, 516 sales at $13 means they're making $6,700. Okay, so they're spending $3,600, but revenue they're making $6,700, which means profit from that is $3,100 roughly. And then obviously double that is around $6,186, okay? So this means that what we can do is we can add up their profits now, but there's another catch, because with each person that sells something, you also get a payment processor. So for example, Stripe is the example that we're gonna be using. If they're using Stripe or PayPal, it's roughly a 3% fee. So Stripe will take 3% of every single sale they make, plus I think 30, 30 cents per sale, um, but we're just gonna use a standard of 3% just to make it easy. Which means that before this payment fee, they're making a minimum of $10,000 profit and a maximum of $20,000 profit. But after we take the fee off, they're making $9,700 profit all the way up to $19,531 profit, okay? So that's roughly how we can break down how I know how much they're making. But guys, it doesn't stop there because, so, so we know already they're making $19,000 profit, but, I want to try and now let's talk about how we can make sure you guys can go ahead and do this because obviously like posting your website and getting it ranked on Google is quite hard. It's not necessarily easy, but um, they also get sales, guys. They also get sales from social, okay? 15% of their sales come from social, which means that places like Facebook, YouTube, Google, um, all these, uh, like Instagram, those kind of things, which you guys have, which is awesome because that's the kind of thing that I want to talk about. Um, so. Let's scroll down. We can see 15% of their traffic comes from social. So taking a similar conversion rate, guys, 92% of their sales comes from Facebook, okay, social, which means one of two things. Either they're making all their sales from their Facebook page, or two, they're also running ads to their Facebook page, which is perfectly possible. Um, and we can probably check that out as well. And guess how we do that, guys? You come to their website, they've got their Facebook page linked, okay? So you click on their Facebook page, we can see their Facebook page here, okay? So they have got 181,000 people on this page that are liking stuff, okay? Liking things, and they post things, and they get little likes and stuff, and presumably they'll promote their stuff on here. And now what we're gonna do is we wanna ask ourselves, are they making all the sales that come from their social, are they making all the sales from organic? So just posting, uh, presumably, yeah, here, they put their link in, and people, so don't forget to explore our new tools, um, and our lightroom presets, click on this. Presumably people will go ahead and click on this. Okay, so we want to work out, are they actually running ads to their Facebook? So what you can do is you can come down to page transparency, click on see more. This page is currently running ads. Okay, so this means that what they're doing is they're probably running retargeting adverts to anyone that's viewed the page or viewed the website from Facebook but haven't bought. And they're trying to encourage them to come back and buy. And guys, the best part is you guys can see the exact ads they're running. So how many of you guys have a Facebook page? If you've got a Facebook page, you should be doing this. You should be retargeting the people. 
Okay, so what you do is you come to, click to go to ad library, and when this loads, we can see the exact adverts they're running. So here we go, guys. Boom, this shows us the exact adverts they're running. Lowest prices of the season starts now. It's a Halloween sale, take up to 95% off all presets. Okay, so they've got a huge offer there. Boom, they've got this, you can click shop now, and they've got this um, carousel kind of ad that you can go scroll through. They've got a video here, different photos. These are all the adverts that they're running. Okay, so these, Mostly, yeah, so these mostly look like retargeting adverts. So what they're doing is they're retargeting anyone that's viewed their page and they're going to be hitting them with ads and saying, hey, you didn't buy, come back, take 95% off and buy any of our preset packs. Come back to our store. So what we can do from that is we can say roughly from, from this, right, most of their sales are coming from Facebook. Okay, let's just ignore YouTube and Pinterest because they're so tiny in proportion, which means that from those, they're making a bunch of sales from organic but they're also paying to bring people back. Okay, and this is what I wanna focus on because if, how many of you guys have a Facebook account or you've got an Instagram account, you've got like a few thousand followers, guys, you can start monetizing that by pushing them across onto your website, okay? 15%, you've got 1,000 people on there, okay? 1,000 people clicking through. From that, 3%, they're gonna be making, what's that, 30 sales? 30 sales um, will be coming from their Facebook page. 30 times 30, what's that? So. Guys, they're making around $600 just from their Facebook page every single month, okay? Obviously, in proportion to the amount that they're making from Google traffic, that's tiny, but guys, $600 from their Facebook page. How many of you guys have a Facebook page? You guys can go ahead and do that. Obviously, some of that will be paid traffic as well, um, so they won't be making all of that, won't be profit, probably be around $400 profit every single month from Facebook, but guys, it's definitely something you guys can go ahead and do. Okay, there we go guys, I'm gonna have to leave it there. This video's been quite long, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Guys, if you wanna go ahead and learn more about starting your business and running a business um, within the creative space, and if you've been motivated by this and you wanna start your business, um, I've put together a free training where we kind of take you through step by step how to go ahead and actually start. Um, the link is down below in the description. It's about an hour and a half long. So if you want to start your business, it's gonna be worthwhile watching the entire thing. Make sure you do that. But um, if you're not too motivated about it, then um, you're probably not gonna end up watching it. But guys, if you are interested, it's there. We take you through, I think I reveal like the three secrets behind getting your business off the ground and running. Um, and I kind of reveal to you why you can make money in the creative space and how possible it is. And I give you some testimonials and stuff from other people um, that have done it in the space. So if you want that, the link's down below. It's completely free, 100% free. There's nothing, like no obligation there. Um, the link's down below in the description. But there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and you've learned something from it. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah, see you soon.